This screencast is going to explain to you how to create an assessment exam in Power School Learning. So go to the page of your class that you want to start with. I'm on Advanced Biology Period 4. You're going to click Activities, Assessments, Add an Assessment. You want to click Exam this time. We'll do another screencast on Practice. Click Next. Type in the name of the exam. I typed in photosynthesis exam. Indicate how many points you want. Usually my tests are 100 points, so I'll leave it at 100. Click next again. I usually either time it to 60 minutes, usually a period, or you can time it to 40 minutes. If it's shorter, you can change the time. Allow students to take the exam one time. You can randomize the questions, randomize the answers. Click Save. Now here's where you can add different sections to your exam. So I'm going to edit my section 1 and I'm going to title it Multiple Choice. You can also add other sections. Usually I'll add a section about lab, lab questions. You can add another section for short answer or essay. Now, if you leave these as is, depending on the number of questions and the points you put in, it will distribute the weight equally. Otherwise, you could change the section weights here. And if you click that to change the weights, right now it's dividing it equally. You can make multiple choice 10%, lab questions whatever you want. You just have to click Fix Section Weight. To add a question, you're going to click Add a Question. You have a lot of options here. You can do a short answer, essay, which you will have to grade, a fill in the blank, a matching, multiple choice, or true and false. These, you can set the answers correctly, um, and then it will self-grade it for you. And if you have like a multiple choice section of a test, that will self-grade, and then you can just grade the short answer or essay. These are for new questions. If you have existing questions, which you can import um, based on certain um, question banks, you can upload them onto your desktop and import them here and make a whole test outside of this. So for now, I'm going to choose multiple choice. You type the question up here. You could do pictures, videos, just a question. So I'm going to write what color And you're going to add your your um, options here. Select the correct answer. You can click save or save and add another. If you save and add another, it's just going to prompt you to enter in another multiple choice question. Now, if you're adding a short answer question, so you can just get out of this if you don't want to add a question to another section of your exam, add a short answer. Okay, so you can write You can set the points. Say I want this worth five points. And I want to put it under short answer question. So you can keep doing that with all of your questions. And once you're ready, you can publish the assessment. I always select restricted access. That requires a password. You can make up any password you want for students to take it. You can make up any password you want for students to review it. You can change the grading points at this point if you want. And you can choose a page you want to put it on. So let's say I'm going to put it under photosynthesis and cellular aspiration. Choose your block placement and you click finish. Okay, here's the password, password for taking. You can make it power school 75 anytime, or you can make the password valid certain times. Click save, 
password for reviewing. I always like review one, two, three. Case doesn't matter. Click save and click done. So if you want to see that exam, you can go to the page that it's published on, which for me is under chapter five. Put it on the bottom of the block. Part of my computer. This is my husband's laptop. And here it is. So here's the exam. So you can view the results, change the passwords, edit things if you want. When students go to take it, they will click it. They will click start this exam. I think my password is Power School 75. Let's submit. And this is what the exam will look like for them. Okay. So what color does the pigment carotenoid reflect? Use the red. When the relationship between photosynthesis and cellular respiration, they would type their answer right here. Okay. And once they're done, if you're timing them, the timing will go up in the right hand corner. Once they're done, they can click OK for each question, or I'll come back later so they can flag it and remind themselves that they need to come back to that question. They click I finished. Are you sure you're ready to submit this assessment? You click OK if you were the student. Okay, here we go. So their score is pending until you grade it. So that was as a student. Then you'll go back in if you're the teacher to grade a few results. And you go here down to my name, Alyssa Nahas. And to grade the exam, you would click it. The multiple choice will self-grade for you, so you don't have to worry about that. And then to grade the short answer, you would read their answer. You could type in their score. And if something was wrong, you can add a comment. Or you can just give them. You know, know what they lost points on. And then once you go up, you walk and see the grade. It's 100. Okay, back to results. And your grade will be there for you. Hopefully that was helpful.